Okay, we've got some modern action going on now between Eric Heldon at the top of the screen, number two in the European division, up against Luca Marini at the bottom, number three in the European division. Uh, Eric took down standard two games to zero, so Luca needs to win both modern and legacy in order to overtake him. Eric started this match with um, a five point buffer over Luca. Felix is currently sitting on top of the division with one point ahead of uh, bo uh, of Eric. Just checking Felix's opponent this week, Patrick Pfeiffer. That game will come later on. So Eric's on his... He had this deck last time, I think. It's like a Jeskai Tokens deck. And oh, for for Luca, it's a it looks like a I think they call it Black Moon. One is a pack rat, so I'm not sure what that's going to be. And straight up, Inquisition's going to tell Luca what he's up against immediately. So we just expand that. You would imagine he's taking the Pyromancer here. He does. Pyromancer's down. And the pass of the turn. Disallow and modern for Eric. Luca needs to be hitting his third land drop either this turn or next turn. So he's got a thought seize for this turn. Plays out the mountain, so he's, he's topping next turn. What's he going to take this time? This time he takes the Mentor, so uh, Eric's lost all of his threats now. Disallow and a Lightning Bolt in hand. The Bolt will certainly take care of the Rebel Master. Of course, uh, Eric with the, the added information of being aware of the Rebel Master. See what... He's got a basic Swamp and a basic Mountain, so we'll see what Eric's going to fetch up here and we'll with that information in mind. He's going to go to Hallowed Fountain to get the White Source. And his draw for the turn, a Serum Visions. He's only going to have a basic blue though. If, if Luca can top a, a land next turn, it's going to be huge. If he can't get that land next turn, then uh, I think it's advantage back to Eric. So let's see what he can get. Needs a land here. The draw is a land. Very timely. So that's going to really mess up Eric's play now. And it will be interesting to see how Luca plays this to run out the pack rat first, just to draw in the... Delva was the draw for uh, Eric. So see what he wants to run out here. Pack rat and fatal push, possibly. We'll see if the pack rat gets the lightning bolt. It doesn't at the end of turn, so it passes the turn. He's going to bolt on his own step. I think that's uh, probably a mistake. He probably pressed F F9 by accident instead of F5 there. He draws the snapcaster mage for the turn. Well, that's interesting. He plays that land tap, so he can't uh, snap bolt. So he, he, do, he does have an, an answer for the Rebel Master that is a snap bolt see if he's going to fire it off this time another snap caster for the turn he needs to get this, the Rebel Master off as soon as possible for, uh, takes over the board yeah and that's what he's going to do snap bolt so no marking around there Eric's not in such a bad position. If he can, if he can just get another blue source, uh, two blues should be able to run his disallow and enable him to say snap and snap back a serum visions. What's the play here? Well, he's offering up the trade. Let's 
it's not taken. And down comes Pack Rat. I think he's got to get to four mana before he can start. Uh, three mana, okay. And I think that we're going to see a lightning bolt pretty quickly here. In turn, bolt on the pyromancer, yes. So, Blood Moon doing serious work here for Luca. Another pack rat for the turn. Well, I'm not sure why he doesn't play the pack rat before combat just to pump the existing one. Oh, he discards it. Oh, well, Eric's conceded. It's an early concession. Can't beat the Blood Moon.